Hello world, my name is Tim Ruswick and I'm with Rick Davidson from Game Dev TV. Rick, what's going on? Hey Tim, good to be here. I understand that we're talking about Unity versus Unreal and the answer is Unity, video yeah. game. <laughs> Unity versus <laughs> Unreal. So if anybody on the planet knows their stuff enough to be able to tell us Unity versus Unreal, it's probably the people from Game Dev TV, right? They've got courses that teach all kinds of stuff from every kind of game development. And I wanted to dive into this because I'm at a crossroads where I want to kind of switch engines and I'm looking at Unity, I'm looking at Unreal, and they're both looking cool. So the answer is Unity. <laughs> which, the... which one? Yeah, so it's a really, that's a bit of a, um, a crazy quick answer there. For me, I like Unity for its simplicity. So if anyone is starting out saying, I don't know which engine, and you don't have a programming background, then Unity is the answer. If you already have some programming, so if we're talking about you, Tim, and we're saying, which engine should you dive into and learn? If you've already got a background in a particular language, particularly an object-oriented programming language, uh, then either engine is going to be just fine, but you might have a little bit more, you might be further down the road to be able to jump into Unreal. So why, why is this? Let's talk a little bit about, about that. We see a lot of our students get stuck in C++ if they're very, very new to programming. And if they haven't learned the fundamentals yet, because C++, which is what you, uh, Unreal uses as its language, has a lot of extra details such as memory allocation and pointers, things that don't conceptually make sense when you first start getting into Stuff them. Stuff that sounds so hard. Go, it sounds hard. You know, it's not super hard. It just takes a little bit more time. And we see students going on that journey, getting really fulfilled by, you know, wow, I now know C++, which is a little bit more of a powerful engine, I think. Unity uses C Sharp. C Sharp I think is a little bit easier to pick up and have some wins straight away. So for you, if you don't have so much of a programming background, you can jump into Unity, you can start learning C Sharp, you can learn a couple of simple statements, a couple of simple concepts pretty quickly, and then you can be having a guy jump around and do some cool stuff and bounce into the wall. You know, In an hour or two, you can be making a game. Now, what I want to say in this that's a little bit different is Unreal has powerful at the far end and super beginner at the super beginner end by using blueprint as a visual scripting language. So instead of having to type all the words in there, like something brackets, comma, whatever, whatever, semicolon, you can have a little box and you grab the, the line and you connect it and you say, this needs to connect to that. Now, one of the things that tricked me when I first started looking at visual scripting was I was thinking it'd be like playing a video game. You know, you get a thing, you connect it to the other thing and it all just works, but you still need to understand the concepts of programming. You're just not necessarily typing in the code. So it's a lot more forgiving in terms of not having to remember where to put the semicolon, but you still need to understand the concepts. You need to know that a variable needs to have a reference and how a function works and how to connect things together. But Unreal gives you that if you're absolutely allergic to typing in the code, if you really don't want to do it, then uh, Unreal has a massive advantage with Blueprint that Unity is slowly catching up to. Unity now has a visual scripting language that they're starting to integrate into it. It's getting better. I think in a year or two's time, it's going to be quite good and maybe getting to the point where Blueprint is. So I think I've, I've dumped a whole bunch of information on you, which is they're pretty similar. Uh, Unity and Unreal are pretty similar. They're both really strong, really good. Uh, generally, my recommendation now I'm not I'm no longer being silly. I'm being honest. Is spend two weeks playing around in both engines. Spend two weeks learning a little bit about how it works, the fundamentals, and you can do that by watching some YouTube videos or coming and joining us on one of our courses or you know chatting to a friend. So play around with it and see which one grabs you and say, cool, this is the one I'm going to invest my time in for the next three six. 12 months and then really immerse yourself in that particular engine so one might just kind of pick up come pop out to me a little bit more if i just mess with it and play around with it yeah and absolutely and by messing around with it you'll see when people talk about well unreal is a little bit more complicated and a little bit more precise so when you first get into the the menus and and the layout it looks prettier the actual, the engine itself in Unreal looks pretty. There's nice buttons up the top. Uh, there's colors. It, it, look, it looks a little bit more impressive, but some things are a little bit more buried and harder to get to. Unity, I think, prides itself on being more simple, more accessible, more user-friendly, but it's a little bit more of a, so what do I do? Uh, it, it's a little bit more open. And when, when you play around with those two, one of them might appeal to your particular style a little bit more. And then you'll get there and say, cool, 
I want to watch some videos on this. I want to read the documentation on this. I want to get some help and support. I think that the Unity documentation is a lot stronger than the Unreal documentation. So if you're starting to learn some of the C Sharp, which is in Unity, or it's what Unity uses, then the documentation I think is really good for giving you some answers, giving you some code snippets, giving you the clues on how it works. Unreal, I find it's not quite as strong because C++ is a little bit of a trickier language to learn. So if you go through that process and it doesn't bother you, the documentation, then when you hear people talk about, oh, the Unity documentation is better, you might say to yourself, well, I didn't find that to be a problem. So I'm cool with that. That is not a factor for me at all. So do you think there's a, maybe this won't change your answer, but do you think there's like a consideration of like genre? Like let's say I want to make an RTS or an FPS. Do you think that comes into play choosing my engine or you still think it's kind of like just mess around with them and see which one you like best? Yeah. Well, the, I know with you, you have a, you're a game developer and you have a, a long-term view on you wanting to make games for a long time. You, when you're an old right. man, you still programming. <laughs> oh, that cookie bounced into the wall. That's amazing. So I can see you looking on a longer term frame. And I, I would say for someone who's looking to jump into an engine, think of it as, as that long-term journey. You, you're going to be learning something for a long time, getting better and better at it. And along the way, you're going to change what sort of game you want to make. You might start out saying, first person shooters, hurrah. Right. We know that Unreal has the reputation for being better at making first person shooters. That's where the Unreal Engine came from. All of the, the, uh, the Unreal games that, you know, Unreal ran around shooting and stuff. So that's, that's where a lot of, lot of uh, its history is. So it's really good at that. But in a year's time, you might say, cool, I want to make a little mobile puzzle platformer game. So it's, I think it's an okay way to make your decision. But to be perfectly honest, both engines can make any sort of game. There's just some pros and cons. And it's a little bit trickier to make, a little bit trickier to make mobile games in Unreal. Um, and a little bit trickier to make a you know really beautiful looking massive action adventure game in Unity. But you can absolutely do them in both. And I think as time goes on, the engines are getting better and they're, they're broadening their, their skill set, if you will. So I don't think you can actually make a bad choice from a genre point of view. But saying all of that, if you jump into Unity, I think it's easier to make small, fun, quirky, mobile, indie, game jam type games than it is in Unreal. Unreal's really geared up for, right, let's make... Uh, a triple A, like knock it out of the park kind of game. So the workflows and the structure are a little bit different. This has been super helpful. So if people wanted to learn Unity or Unreal, Game Dev TV has courses that can walk them through every step of that, right? Yeah, absolutely. And you know, I, uh, it's, it's one of those things that if you learn one engine or one programming language, it absolutely applies to the other. This is not quite what your question was, but I just wanted to throw that in there that if you go and spend six months learning C Sharp and Unity and you get in there and you think, oh, maybe I should have learned Unreal, that six months is not wasted. That's very right. valuable. You've learned the key concepts. You know what a function's all about. You understand return types and parameters and you know about references. So those things absolutely translate between both engines. And if you've spent some time getting into one, you'll recognize Okay, we have a we have our assets that are saved to disk. We have all the game objects or the the objects or the actors that are in the world. We have an inspector or something where it allows us to drill into the details. So there's so much similarity between the two that you just can't. It, there's no such thing as wasted time. So specifically right. to your question, yeah, we have uh, we're fortunate enough to have a gigantic community that's given us so much feedback on what they want, what works for them, what they like. So we've created uh, a couple of really strong beginner courses for people looking to just dive in and say, right, I want to within a couple of hours, I want to be making some games in Unity, and we also have courses jumping in and making some games in Unreal. And I'm I'm part of the way through the Unity course. I can definitely vouch for it. It's it's pretty solid. Made three games so far. I'm I'm hyped. And I I exactly what you're saying. I think my my experience in other engines is kind of translated into that, and I'm able to kind of go through some of the stuff quicker. So I think it's it's a it's a cool deal. So um, the links will be down in the description if you guys want to get the Unity or Unreal course. I'll link to those because those are both specific. But Game Dev TV has a ton of courses that I think you should check out. I'm constantly impressed by the quality. Maybe I'm a little biased because I actually did a course with you guys. But I, I like what you do. You, it's top quality and you've got like 800,000 students or some crazy number that I can't even imagine. <laughs> so, yeah, getting up to 
about a, a million students. And I, I like to say, yeah, thank, thanks for pointing that out. For me, it's important that we've listened and listened and listened and improved what it is that we do. So now we're at the point where we think we understand what it means for a beginner who's a little bit intimidated by programming. It's like, cool, we got you. Don't worry about it. We'll start nice and gentle. And we know that people have an interest in games. So let's make some games. Let's make some games that are cool and games that you, like you, Tim, can go and make it a little bit different. So it feels like your right. sort of game, the sort of game you'd like to make. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. It's not just like, go here, do this. It's kind of like, hey, let's make a thing together. And it's 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 been really eye-opening for me and it's made it a lot more fun to learn something that could be so intimidating, right? Like you open it up and there's all these menus and buttons and stuff and you're like, well, what do I do? You and I have talked about this a little bit, but why, why a course, why a paid course versus just watching YouTube videos? And YouTube, I because I've made a lot of YouTube videos myself, they're really good for, I've got a very specific question, what's the answer? So you might type up, you know, why is my such and such not doing such and such? And you watch a video and you're like, aha, now I have the answer. And you go back to doing your thing. So they're really good from that point of view. Where YouTube courses aren't as strong is in giving someone, where do I start? What do I do? And then what do I do? And then what do I do? And then what do I do? So if you if someone's sitting there saying, well, why bother with a course? I just watch YouTube videos. It's because you get to where you want to get to quicker. Yeah. There's a structure to it because you can in a course. And in a course, you can say, okay, I want you right now to pause the video and do this thing. And then when you come back, we'll talk about the solution. And that's a lot harder to do on YouTube right. because it's not set up for to be that way. So- um, that's a little bit of why courses and not just watching YouTube. YouTube. I'm glad you brought that up because I've learned other engines by Googling how to do a thing and then putting it in. And I, and, and I thought that was fine until I took the Unity course and then I'm saying like, oh my God, like, cause when I opened Unity, I was like, okay, what do I do? <laughs> There's like 10 million menus here and I, you don't know yeah. where to start. Right. But the course actually walks you through, not only are you making games the whole time, but you're making a small game and then a slightly larger game and then a slightly larger game and you learn kind of the whole ui and the whole menu and the whole interaction through mm -hmm. doing a process that's a lot better and it's like you can't you can't really get that on youtube you get how to do procedural generation how to do this thing you get these little bite-sized chunks and you may even find these courses here and there but a lot of them are outdated or they they don't keep up on different things or maybe you know who knows really who recorded it but you guys are professionals and you guys are professional instructors and you really you take care and understanding and i just through the quality control i went through when i made the course with you guys is like yeah, plenty of videos I did got rejected. You were just like, do them again. They're not, you know, they need to be clearer enough, not from a bad perspective, but from like, a, and I was like, wow, I really appreciate the fact that we had to like uh, work on the quality and make sure everything was clear and put it through user review groups and like make sure that students really understand. Cause it's not just about like the course part, it's about like really teaching somebody something. Like how do you actually put together something where they're really gonna learn? And I think you guys got a solid formula. That's one of the reasons why I'm an advocate. Awesome, man. And I know we're, we're doing a lot of plugging of Game Dev TV. So if anyone's still sticking around after we've talked about ourselves, ourselves for 10 minutes, uh, one thing advice that I would give to folks who are looking at the whole, you know, should I take some online learning? Should I do a course is look for the responses to questions that are asked in the community. And that's something that we spend so much time and effort. Every single course has a teaching assistant whose number one priority is to make sure that the student doesn't get stuck. And I know for me, when I'm learning things, if I'm right in the thick of it and I'm excited by it, and then I come up against a problem I can't solve and I can't solve it straight away, I get really deterred by that. Right. It, it puts me off. It makes me very, you know, maybe I shouldn't bother with this. It's too hard. But if you can jump online, whether that's in a Discord channel or a forum or writing a question, and you know that within a certain amount of time, usually for us, it's 24 hours, we aim to have an answer to someone, or if it's our, someone goes into where our community is hanging out, they can get an answer straight away and boom, you're off and running again. So if it's any kind of learning, make sure that you've got that support. So yes. do a little bit of audit of, of the support in the community and um, making sure that you don't get stuck. For sure. And, and Game Dev TV has got a huge community. Game Dev Underground is a huge community. Um, and so definitely surround yourself with people that are, you know, into the same thing and can kind of help you because trying to do it alone is one of the biggest mistakes I ever made. I learned that yes. lesson the hard way. But uh, and, and links to the yep. Unreal course and the Unity course will be down below. If you want to get those, I highly recommend it. I'm not, I haven't done the, the Unreal course, but I'm in the middle of the Unity course and I'm loving it so far. And I really appreciate you uh, sharing all this info with us, Rick. Yeah, thanks for the chat today, Tim. I appreciate it. And if uh, anyone watching this 
video right now has any questions for me about what they should do, Unreal versus Unity, or uh, any particular learning they should go down, then chuck it in the in the comments and I'll answer it personally as best I can. Wow. Take him up on his offer. All right. Thank you, Rick. Go to click those links, go buy the courses, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.